for joining us today. So today, guys, we're just running to BJ's. You know, we ran out of a few items in the house. So we decided to go to BJ's and just to pick up a few items, you know, so we could cook today and you know have items for the weekend and for the rest of the week so stay tuned guys join us as we shop in bj's today say hi to the camera obi hi hi <laughs> he doesn't really like the camera guys but anyway we know that driving. you're driving you're right but he's driving all right guys so when we get to bj's we're gonna start um vlogging so just stay tuned Hey everyone, so um, hubby and I decide to come to BJ's just to pick up a few items that we run out of. You know, sometimes you run up the stuff in the house and you need one or two items. So it's not a lot of items that we're picking up today, but just items that we run out of. And today I'm making my special stew peas for my daughter. So I have to put shrimp in it because she don't eat red meat. So we're coming in here to get you know, we're coming in here to get some shrimp and some juice and some other things. So guys, stay tuned. Okay guys, so we're picking up some water. We have two cases at home and it's the summertime. So, you know, we have to stock up on extras. So right now we're sucking up on extra water. Huh? You gonna get two cases? Yeah, I get two cases. It's the summer. And we have guests in the house. So... So that makes it four cases that we're gonna have in the house for the summertime. All right, so we are going to the next section of BJ's. So guys, he's picking up um, a four pack of Martellini's. He loves Martellini's, guys. He's not an alcohol person, so, you know, we drink that occasionally. So you're going to the bread section, right? Okay, guys. So we're heading over to the bread department. And of course, uh, we're not big bread eaters. I normally do the Ezekiel bread or I'll try to find a bread that's low in sodium because we have to watch our sugar intake and our salt intake when it comes on to these breads. And you would never believe how much sodium is in some of these breads for example look at this arnold bread and look at the nutrition facts and this says uh where's the sodium the sodium content on this guys is 180 can you imagine 180 milligrams of um sodium huh and what else you pick up Okay guys, so he picked, picked up some butter um, marble cake. You know, we have guests in the house and she likes cake. We can't only cater for ourselves. So I normally go for the honey wheat, nature's own sometimes, because it's not high in sodium. It's only, let me see, it's only 110 milligrams. So compare this to the Arnold bread. This only has 110 milligrams of sodium and less sugar, of course. So, yes. So we're going over to the egg section. Okay, guys. So Bobby just picked up a three-pack of Simply Lemonade, his favorite drink. But of course, we water it down when we drink it because, you know, it has a lot of sugar in it. So I always water it down when we pour it in the glass. Or sometimes I'll mix it with some fruit or something else just to, you know, enhance the taste so we're going to the egg section guys and I'm looking for something organic I just learned something about cage-free eggs and range-free eggs so I don't think I want any cage-free or range-free eggs the organic eggs are actually better than cage-free and range free so today I'm getting Pete and Jerry and let me examine it to make sure that there are no crack ones 
in the case. All right, so we got Pete and Jerry's organic eggs. And right now, we're going to the shrimp section. That's the main reason why we came in here, to get shrimp for the stew peas. So we are heading to that section right now. So guys, we're also getting some country crock, crock plant butter. And this one has the olive oil. I normally get the one with the almond oil, but that's, that's fine if it's the olive oil. I'm not fussy. So we're getting that one. But if I had a preference, I would have gotten the one with the almond oil. Yep. So we are in the dairy section, passing all the York. We're heading to the seafood department, guys. So I'm heading to the seafood department. And we're gonna get my favorite shrimp. And guys, I'm picking up a naked shrimp. It has no additives, no preservatives, just shrimp. And this is wild, of course, guys. And this is raw and it has the shell on. So we always try to get this one that has no additives. Because you know when you buy shrimp, they soak it in some chemicals and it's all frozen with all the ice on it. And when you go home and you defrost it, it's a small shrimp. Yeah, it's all the chemicals that they freeze on the shrimp. So I'm getting this one today. Okay, of course guys, you know when you come in BJ's and you have all these tasting things over here. Uh, what is this? Is this fruit? What's this? Frozen fruit. Oh, it's just frozen fruit. Okay guys, so I'm trying frozen fruit. You know you go to those little stand in BJ's, hungry I kill you. <laughs> and you get something for tears, I hope it tastes good. Well, it, it can't be, I can't go around because it's frozen fruits. All right, you know, people doing product showcases. Yes. So that's what they're doing. And what is over here? Cauliflower, Cauliflower wings. I would love to try this. And if you don't mind being on YouTube, I'm vlogging. <laughs> I'm vlogging. So I want to try your cauliflower wings. And please subscribe to Silly Kitchen YouTube channel. <laughs> yes, you're going to be on TV. Say hello for the camera. Buffalo style cauliflower. Yes, buffalo style cauliflower. Yes. And we're hit into the healthy eating too. So this is good yes. to know. So I'm going to try this, guys. And I'm going to let you know how good this tastes. So when you come to BJ's, you could try this product. Yes. <laughs> so, and this is, the, this is the best. Oh, the chunky cheese blue cheese. By Marie. Okay. So if, if someone was vegan, because you know if you had. Was vegan, I would what would be the dip? Tell them. You would not tell them? <laughs> right, which one would they, you recommend? They have a vegan one, it's, it's made with avocado. Uh huh. It's in, I'm, I don't know the exact name, but I know it has avocado in it. Right. So it's in our. Um, Aisle 50? Aisle 50 or 49. 49 or 50. Okay, great. So guys, if you come to BJ's by Gateway, 49 or 50 to get, um, you know. So I prepared these in the air fryer. and I. Oh, them so you prepare them in the air fryer. Ooh. You have crispy in them? Yes, nice. So guys, I'm about to taste it, hobby and myself. Ah. Oh, should I put this on it? If you like, if you like. Put some on mine. Mm -hmm. I know me try to um, vegan to not do the dairy, but a little bit now kill me. Mm. Oh, okay, I didn't know it had some in there. <laughs> so if you check my channel, I have barbecue cauliflower, and I also did Parmesan cauliflower. So you check, check, check my recipes. Mm. This almost tastes like my mmm chunky. I will. Oh, it's hot. This is so good. This and it's very so, healthy. And yes, this is very healthy. So, guys, if you're gonna try to go from meat to vegetables, vegetables, this is perfect. And I do that sometimes because sometimes I don't feel for anything meaty. Yes. I switch to the cauliflower and I barbecue it or I stew it down. Have you ever had the, the roasted cauliflower? Where you take it and just cut out the core part on the inside. Mm -hmm. um, Marinate it with olive oil, mm -hmm. salt, and black pepper. Mm -hmm. Then you cook it upside down, but you have to put the butter on it. <gasps> just let it roast in the oven. I am going to try that. Now, when you finish mm -hmm. cooking it, no, you cook it with the top of it. When you finish cooking it, it's going to be a whole pot of flour. Don't cut it. Yeah, I know. You just take the inside out, the middle. After you put the butter and everything on it, sprinkle it 
sprinkle a little Parmesan dry cheese on mm -hmm. it. Delicious. Okay, so yes. it, so I'm gonna definitely make that, and I'm gonna put a twist on it. Yes. So, girl, say hi for the camera and bye for the camera. Bye, camera. Alrighty, so check me out, Sealy's yeah. Kitchen. Guys, that was a very good little treat. It's very appetizing, it's very filling. Now she gave me a new recipe to try on Sealy's Kitchen, which I'm definitely gonna try. So now guys, I'm gonna pick up my favorite lettuce. And this is the only lettuce I like. I used to like romaine, but when I found these in BJ's, I went crazy. Yes, they're so crunchy. They are so crunchy, guys. Crunchy, crunchy, crunchy is an understatement. And of course, I have cucumbers, so I don't need to pick up any of that right now. And I'll get tomatoes um, at my gourmet place um, later on. It's cheaper than BJ's. Yes. So guys, I think we're almost done because as I told you, we're just picking up items that we run out of. We're not really shopping. But we're just picking up items that we run out of. Okay guys, so I am in the seasoning aisle and I'm picking up Mrs. Dash garlic and herb. I ran out of that in the house, so I'm definitely picking up some seasoning right now. And I'm also gonna get some paprika. Um, I normally use McCormick, but it doesn't matter. Paprika is paprika. This is cheaper, it's um, $7.69. So I'm gonna get the cheaper one. The other one is eight something. And this is the Badia brand. So Hobby's patiently waiting over there. He doesn't like to come shopping with me because I take long with everything, but that's okay, it's a woman thing. So I think we're basically done, guys. As I said, we only came to pick up stuff that we, oh, I forgot cooking oil. We ran out of cooking oil as well. So, as you know, guys, I'm a grapeseed oil person. So I'm gonna take my grapeseed oil here. And I'm gonna add this to my cart. Oh, he's complaining that I put it on the egg. Alright, All right, so we're done guys and we're going to the checkout right now just to check out our few items and then we're gonna head home and then I'm going home to cook what? My special stew peas. The rice? No, we could pick up the rice somewhere else. I don't like the rice them in here. You know we eat special rice and they don't sell the special rice. So we'll get the special rice and then we head on home. So we're heading to the checkout. Please scan your membership so card guys, or touch to need assistance. We're at the checkout right now. And we're gonna start checking out and then we're gonna get out. Card scan. Here. Please begin scanning. <laughs> So guys, I'm assisting Hubby at the checkout. I'm handing them the items. The butter. So guys, we're packing the car um, from the checkout, and we're gonna be heading through the door to the parking lot right now.
inside your grandpa boxes. Don't take too much of these boxes because I don't want them in the house. So guys, we're checking our receipts at the door and then we're be heading to the parking lot. But before we do that, we're going to get one of those boxes to put some of the smaller items. So, you know, it will be easier to take it from the vehicle to the house. Yeah, that's I rice that we always eat. Gluten-free um, rice, whole grain, gluten-free rice. So we are going there to get that and then we're going to head home. So guys, if you like what we bought today and the moment we share, I want you to like this video, share this video, and if you're not yet subscribed to Sealy's Kitchen YouTube channel, I really don't know what to wait for. So I want you to like this video share this video with all your friends and what what as Jamaicans would say right Obi? 